What's the biggest criticism of Antonio Conte? Biggest criticism? I mean, look at what he did for Juventus. Look at what he did for Chelsea. Look what he did for Italy. Look what he's doing for Inter Milan right now. But what is his biggest criticism? Homeboy underwhelmed and underachieved in the CL and in the Champions League. Let me lay it all out for you right now. War rumor has it. Rumor has it. Messi is being rested. In case you didn't know, Barcelona play Real Sociedad the weekend. And then, of course, it is the big one, El Clasico, December 18th. So they're going to give him a rest, which is... I'm going to get, 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 get to that, actually, with, with regards to Barcelona giving Messi a rest. Into playing at the crib. They're playing at the crib. So, they, so you're playing at the crib. Knowing you need a win to secure that crack. And beware of what Dortmund doing and so forth. Also, they're playing against team without Messi. The talisman and the main man for Barcelona. So all the pressure is on Inter and Barcelona are already through. They're good. They're fine. They're sweet. They're nice. So all the pressure is on Inter Milan. So Inter, you have to get it done. Because look, just thinking about, you know, we're always discussing the Sunday hunger. People may say, wait a minute. He wasn't brought here to win the Champions League. He was brought here to the throne Juventus. And right now, two points ahead, he is pretty much on that whole wave of the throne Juventus. So hey, it's cool. Hey, check, relax. It doesn't even matter. Do you know what I say to you? Screw you. Screw you! I'm a Champions League merchant, a very proud card bearing member of the Champions League Merchant Society. It's always about the CL. Yeah, Syria is cool. Yeah, PL is cool. What is Liga cool? What is Liga is cool? You, it is always about the CL. It's always been about the CL. The Champions League, it is. It's, it's what it is. It's the lights. It's the bright lights. Champions. Not that. So, I don't want to hear any excuses because if Inter Milan don't get it done and they either take an L or a draw at the crib, this is going to be another blemish on Antonio Conte's resume. So, before we go into like you know player um, analysis and everything, let's look at how both teams are likely to set up from a main man H H. All right, so let's look at the Inter Milan. Um, so again, obviously, you know, they do this kind of very old school back three, um, which pretty much may look like this on paper, but you know, much more, much more like this where they bunch in and when they're, they're defending, these guys now go back in there. So this is kind of like, this is pretty much what the defensive pattern looks like. Again, very, very old school, very, very, it's Italian. So I think what's going to be very important for Inspan is to be able to swallow up in, um, Barcelona in the midfield, hence why when they have the ball, it's about having all of these options here and trying their best to unleash both Biragi and Kandreva into this much more advanced positions. But I think more so, what is also very key is the transition, the connection of the midfield with, the, with regards to the, the attack. And if they can get Martinez the ball in these kinds of danger areas, if you get the ball in these kinds of danger areas, and I think that is what is going to be very important to making them say what's up and really becoming very, very dangerous um, in this game. But I think that it's a combination of Martinez and Lu 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 Lukaku. Of course, Lukaku's area of um, activity should pretty much be around here. You know, maybe around here, around here. But really for Martinez, it's really almost all around here. And the key thing is obviously you, you obviously want to support from Valero to front from Vervecino and the options of Ver, of Beragi and Candreva outward because remember this is the San San Siro it's a nice wide pitch so Candreva will be important as well as, as Beragi but I think more so where Inter have had their most joy is the combination of Martinez and Lukaku finding their way through but I do think that's the not having sense is going to be is, 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 is definitely a massive miss. Not having sense is a massive miss. But I think the key to Inter winning is obviously them keeping things very, very tight in midfield, making it very, very difficult to break down this kind of back five. But also, um, Martinez and Lukaku, how they combine and how they're able to develop in understanding to either get Lukaku into a good space, Martinez into a good space, or Kandreva and Beragi to supply that ball into the box. So even now look over at Barcelona. Now I'm set this up with them being without Messi. 
who's going to be arrested. As if it goes to your boy, Fia, Paul, Roberto. So are you trying to tell me that Longley is better than Umtiti? You know? That's what I want to say, you know, about black players. <laughs> yeah. um, so, obviously, you got the midfield of De Jong, Rakitic, and, and Busquets. And I think, you know, this is where they'll be, need to be smart because they're going to get outnumbered in the midfield. And I think that is what Conte will be looking for. So what um, your boy, Uncle Ernie, will want is keep the ball very, very well. Use the ball very, very well. And use, because even if we are outnumbered, as long as we use the ball well, we know that we're going to get some support from an Elena or a Fatih in there or a, or a Griezmann coming in through. So if you use the ball well, us being outnumbered won't really matter. Now, I've said Elena or Fati in here um, because as a Fatih, because I, I was just l l looking at the, um, at, the, at the last game against Mallorca and I didn't see Antifati on the bench. I don't know whether he's injured or not and everything. So if he isn't injured, I would definitely play him in this game. If he is injured or he's not available, then, you know, I have liked what Carlos Alenia looks looks like. So um, this is really all about Griezmann and what he does. I think Griezmann has to take command of this game. And I'm because people have said that this, you don't play Griezmann here. You know, Griezmann at what is is useless. So if this is the formation that we have here, I think the... Um, the wide game can be supplied by um, Roberto. So obviously Griezmann can drift wide here and there, but I think what she wants for Griezmann is to play as close to Suarez as as as, as possible. So if there is a counter attack that Barca will have with Inter being the aggressor in this game, Griezmann can have this kind of take up this position because this is the position that he took so well for Atletico Madrid and for France. Is this just this position here where if he gets receives the ball here? He has Suarez to pass to. If Suarez makes the, the, the right run, he can do a cross field pass to Alena or Efati. But he also has the option of Sergio Roberts with the overlapping run. But Griezmann's position and how he's utilized in this game, but also his performance in this game, is going to be key to seeing how well Barcelona do. So look, there we have it. So let's just look first at um, Inter Milan, the home team. Um, Lazaro Martinez. My God, this guy is playing money. This, this guy, he's been money. This guy has been full on money. This guy's been cashing those flipping checks. One of the most informed strikers in the world right now, and I think a a a, a man who has been absolutely exceptional for Inter Milan. Goal after goal after goal, important goals, and I just think he's just been fl fl flipping amazing, especially with the um combination and the relationship that he's been building with Lukaku. So, you know, obviously you have to say thank you to Conte who must have done something to bring this essence out of him. But at the end of the day, it is the player that has to do it onto the pitch. So the bulk of the praise has to go to Lazaro Martinez. So in this game for Lazaro Martinez, Inter Milan will be looking for those goals. So for it is 2-4 for Lazaro. It is him understanding that supporting striker number 10 position, knowing how to find those little lovely spaces, which they will be given against an attacking team like a Barcelona and trying to pull the PK out of position, normally out of, out, of, out of position, but also as well, getting yourself in those dangerous attacking positions in the box because he is, his movement is quality. I think what makes Latoura Martinez so amazing is not only his ability on the ball to dribble, twist and turn, but also his ability to really find space. He's a very, very smart player. Really smart player. So for Latoura Martinez, you being, I think you would I think he's probably Inter Milan's best player. I would say he's probably Inter Milan's best player. So he has to show up. I think if Latoura Martinez shows up, I think Inter have a great chance of closing the deal and getting that flipping G. Romelu! Romelu! So... Lukaku, 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 Kaku, Luke, Luke Skywalker. Um, so, his combination and his relationship with Lazaro Martinez has formed the foundation of why Inter Milan have been so successful this season. I think, yet again, in this game, his ability to have good ball control will be very important. So, the things that have just been slightly um, taken away from Lukaku's kind of game has been his lack of a ball control, his ability not to, to be able to combine and see what's up with um, um, the players around him. It's very important that whenever the ball comes in, it sticks to him that he can control the ball, turn, pop over pass, control the ball, turn, pop over pass, and always make the right for balling the decisions. I think if Lukaku has a good game, Martinez's game will go to a higher level because I think they're both reliant and dependent on one another. I do think if Lukaku's ball control is crisp and his game is on it, I do think that Inter Milan will become very, very effective. And I just think by the multitude of chances that him 
and Martinez will be able to combine if both players play well, I think it will be too much for Barcelona and they will end up outscoring your boys' passes. So, Lukaku is a prime guy, you're right, as well as Arturo Martinez. It's when Griezmann, that's what it is. You know, people are still on and off with regards to his effect on this Barcelona team. And I think people are saying, it has it worked? Was it a boss? This is your, your, your big move. And especially within the absence of Lionel Messi, it is going to be even more so important that your boy Griezmann can say what's up. Because if Griezmann can say what's up, if he can be the man that can ride through, it's huge. Because this is the perfect, perfect game for Griezmann. Because all eyes will be on him. Without any Messi and so forth. Yeah, you've got your, the cannibal there. But Griezmann is supposed to be like the superstar guy. It's not just the striker. You're the star guy, especially in Messi's absence. So if he can be able to be influential enough to inspire Barcelona, I'll keep it with you. If Griezmann can be man of the match, and inspire Barcelona to a win against Inter Milan, Inter Milan away from the crib, I think that would be huge. And I think that would be the biggest assessment that he could make. Because even whatever you did against Real Betis or in La Liga and everything, it's about you, what you do against the biggest teams, against the Real Madrid and Atletico, but especially what you do in a Europe, in a Champions League. So for Griezmann, show, show out or show up, or show up or show out. I don't know how you say that. So let me just think about this. A score. So Inter are at the crib. Barcelona, we are assuming that they will not be having El Messi who is rested. One one. And that score and just just came into my head. One one. I think Inter will dominate. I think they will play well. I just I just see them flopping. I see them flopping and I just see them not being able to get it done. So yeah, man, that it is just a flash, one one, one one, and that's what the score on that Insta one spot is a score that I'm gonna give. So remember to like the vid, remember to subscribe if you're new, and also remember to check out the links to become a patron to support the channel as well as to follow me on the various links and remember to visit the official website halfoffootballhots.com. Peace out, stay strong, stay black. I'm out. Peace. <laughs> it's boy HH. Yeah, it's me. Become a Patreon. Support your boy HH, man. And gain access to extra flipping content. More analysis. More tactical snacks. More exclusive videos, movies, football stuff, flipping anime stuff. Anything that comes to my mind, as well as my blog. Click on the description box below. Click the link on the Patreon page. And become a Patreon right new. Stay real.